Hey everybody, welcome to January 26, 2016, uh, Tuesday. My name is Xtreme Shadow, and today I want to talk about a game I've I've had for about, I want to say two weeks. I just seriously have not talked about this. I want to talk about Pikmin 2. Um, I finally got Pikmin 2 for the Nintendo Wii, uh, for my cousin, well, my cousin-in-law, uh, which the same person that got me Gunstar Heroes the other time, and... I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm actually pretty glad and excited I finally got it, because, well, it's a game I've actually been looking for on the Wii, and it was one of the very last couple hard-to-find, maybe sometimes expensive games for the Wii. Now I only have Doka Pond Kingdom and Little King Story. That is it. That, that's, the, that's the rest of the most expensive games for the Wii I gotta look for. Just those two games. Well, now Wii Party as well, but, I mean, eh, it's not that expensive and it's not that hard to find, but... It's it's in my, my my mind. I mean, I have to also find Conduit too, but still, I'm so close. A, a finishing Wii, so close. I'm so damn close. Now, of course, uh, I keep looking into some more games, and of course, nothing's really popping in my mind. I really want to get maybe like maybe maybe now Castlevania Judgment or something. I don't know, that, that, like whatever. But uh, besides that, there's nothing really like out there. That I have to really honestly get. So, my Wii collection is almost done. I mean, I didn't even know Rodeo Sky Soldier was even for the Wii until I got the damn game for the Wii U, and it was also for Wii. I was like, awesome, cool, another one down. So, I, I don't know, I'm very excited. Another game for the Wii knocked out of the way to complete my Wii collection. Now, for Pikmin 2, I already own it. Not for the Wii, but for the GameCube, as you can probably tell if I take it out. Well, I just saw it. There. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Okay. But yeah, it's right in there. Pikmin 2. So, yeah. Got for Wii now. And that's another one off the list. So, the other thing I want to talk about today is... It actually happened Sunday. And I just didn't talk about it. Is the Royal Rumble match. From WWE 2016. <laughs> Sorry. The Royal Rumble... Um, I, I remember some of the matches, but I honestly don't think it's even that important. But what's to say, the Royal match, it was bigger stakes. I think it was a 30-man Royal Rumble match and not 40. I was actually kind of disappointed it wasn't 40. Very used to seeing 40-man Royal Rumble match, but it wasn't 40, it was 30 now. I was like, okay, back to the general number. So, what I've realized is that, um... I didn't know this going into Royal Rumble until the match actually started to get there. Was Roman Reigns with the wettest hair. <laughs> Roman. Oh my god. Freaking Louise and Jordan. Um, <laughs> has to defend his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against 29 other men. He is entry number one. What's this saying for spoiler alert? He lost. And for spoiler alert, he lost to the game. Triple H. Triple H was entry number 30. And Roman Reigns, I believe, was eliminated at number like 26 or something. I, 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 I don't know. By his own, he got eliminated at that number. I was like, what? So, I really wanted him to be with that person that can like do it. Like, eliminate all the other 29 men as number one person in the Rumble. But still, I don't know. I don't know. But, I don't know. But realistically, I thought it was just a smart like, way differently that they're trying to make the ratings go up. Which I think it's working super slowly. Just not incredibly fast as they think they might be wanting to go. But it's coming back, I hope. I mean, we got AJ Styles. I mean, yeah, cool. I actually didn't even know who the fuck he was. An idea, I knew who he was from like, TNA Impact, which is Impact Wrestling, whatever now. But, um, that's kind of really all I know about him. And then DBZ had to give me some side history about him. So, okay, this is this is his background. I got it. So, yeah. I didn't like how WWE was trying to say, like, oh my god, this is rumored for weeks. I was like, it was a fucking day or two, guys. You don't tell us weeks. It was a fucking day or two. So, anyways. Um, Royal Rumble, it was actually pretty alright. It wasn't, like, literally the best. I think, I, okay. I feel like every other Royal Rumble from, like, 20, I want to say 13 or something, 
was just better beforehand. I mean, it just felt better. It felt like more higher stakes. But you can't beat Rey Mysterio's number. It's just like the guess, the best one. That you just can't. No. So, anyways, besides that, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna call that a vlog. I I don't know what else to say about that. Anyways, uh, let's recap. We got new play control Pikmin two for the Wii and the Royal Rumble match Triple H one. So of course people want to get me. I don't know why, but it's just for my family. You know they always want me for some fucking reason. So the game once again everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.